Hi there, it's the 15th of July, 2023. This is Cancer Update 29. It's my third day of chemotherapy. And um, as we all expected, um, day we, we knew something was gonna hit around day three, four or five, and the, the fatigue and the nausea is starting to kick in. Um, so I just thought I'd just let you all know. Uh, at this stage, it's a relatively mild, um, nausea which the nausea medication is addressing but I do feel a bit upset in the stomach uh, and the fatigue is not not all encompassing like I have made it from the bedroom to the dining room to be able to make this video and I did um, I did take my car to the car wash this morning so it's not a complete wipe out but um, I certainly don't feel um, like going out. I was going to have a friend come over and go and walk their dog and um, I've had to cancel that. I don't think I can go for a, a walk with the dog. So, but I did think um, it, it might be good to talk you through a few things and just to let you know what's going on in my life. So that's the infuser pump with the actual connection on it. And as you can see, it goes off to a cannula connection. Um, this is some kind of, as I understand it, sort of temperature monitor, which is why they put it in the middle of my chest. Apparently, uh, the temperature of my body and the temperature of the ambient world is important for how this thing goes. So this is the, uh, what is it? The fluorouracil. So when I first got it, it was at that 10 line. After one day, it was pretty much down to the five line. And right now it's at two and a half, uh, which means it's got two and a half, so it must have half a day to go. Um, and then I'll be going down to the hospital to have this bag and this connection removed. And then that's the end of my um, first infusion. So basically it's, it's done over three days. The majority of it happens in the first day, but then you do end up with this bag that you have to um, have on you for 48 hours or 46 hours, but it's as good as 48 hours. And that slowly infuses, um, in my case, fluorouracil into me, because remember I'm on the Folfox 6 uh, chemotherapy uh, regime. I do have this uh, sort of medic alert bracelet. So the important thing is that, um, what is it? CT, is that 300 PSI? Yeah, 300 PSI. So. To get through the um, infuser pump, you apparently need 300 pounds per square inch of, um, of pressure, which I've just realised is not a metric thing. So that's interesting. So um, uh, even though Australia is a metric country, there are some holdovers from, uh, from uh, our friends in the United States. Um, please do get onto the metric system as soon as you can. I, I do recommend it. Uh, so I won't be doing very much today. For those of you that are Australian, um, you've hopefully noticed that today is the Triple J Hottest 100 like a version, and I am listening to that, and I am really enjoying it. For those of you that aren't from Australia, um, Triple J is a government radio station. It's owned by the Australian Board Broadcasting Corporation, which is part of the Australian government. And Triple J is the one for, basically you would say for the youth, and like a version is where bands, well-known good bands, will come in and do a cover of someone else's song. So they will do a version of it. And I believe it's a reference to Like a Virgin, which was, you know, the song by Madonna. And then people would come along and do Like a Version, which would be their version of a particular song. I'll stick a link down, down to it in the, um, in the description. For those of you that are Australian, you'll know that... Um, you'll know all about Triple J and you'll know all about uh, hopefully like a version. And um, for those of you that aren't, I think it's on Spotify. So just, just, go, and, just go and look at it. There have been some cracking cover versions. Um, the one of Enter Sandman, uh, the Metallica um, version I've just listened to a couple of hours ago was, was brilliant. Um, so yeah, there's gonna be some great cover versions on there. So anyway, so um, that's where I'm at. So I'm getting towards the end of um, chemotherapy infusion number one. Um, for those of you that are curious, my distension um, is enormous at the moment. I think that's probably the biggest that it's ever been. I have spoken to uh, my doctor at Fiona Stanley and we are talking about doing a, 
a, an ascites drain next week. Uh, we've got to juggle my neutrophil count, basically, because part of the, this chemotherapy means my neutrophil count, which is my ability to fight off infection, is goes very low. And of course, sticking something into my belly to drain me does have a risk of infection. So you don't want to do that when your neutrophil count is, um, is extremely low. So what we have agreed that we will do is next Wednesday, we're talking about me going in and having a blood test. And as long as my neutrophil count is acceptable, which we think it will be by then, then I will either have a drain uh, possibly on that Wednesday, but more likely on the Thursday. So at the moment, I just have to get myself, my ascites through to next Thursday and get my neutrophil count up. And by that stage, I will then get a drain. And of course, with the chemotherapy, I should, I will either be producing less ascites, but even possibly no ascites. So once I get this drain, there's a good chance that I won't be producing more. At least I won't be producing it at the same rate. So I should be able to get some genuine um, respite from having the ascites. Because for those of you that have got ascites, um, you, you know how debilitating it is. And for those of you that don't, I mean, you can see the distension I've got. And um, I can tell you, getting out of bed in the morning, if you can imagine trying to get out of bed without bending at the waist, so you're just kind of trying to get out like an ironing board, that's what it's like for me to get out of bed. Um, it's, it's not pretty. It's probably funny, but it's not pretty. Uh, and I am looking forward to, um, to being able to bend at the waist, basically. I'll know... I'll know when I've genuinely beaten this, when I can do um, sit-ups and crunches. Um, I'm not about to, that's not gonna happen anytime soon, but I hope that sometime in the future, I will be doing uh, at least one sit-up or crunch for you. That will definitely be a, uh, a moment of victory when I can do a sit-up or a crunch, because it's unthinkable right now, just with the ascites and the, the fatigue. <clears throat> so uh, so that's where I'm at. and. Um, I'll, I'll wrap it up there. Thank you for watching Cancer Update 29. I'll talk to you tomorrow.